Hey guys, so this is just going to be a voiceover video, <clears throat> um, but hopefully you can see my hand moving around here, um, illustrating some things. I just shot the video at the house, walking the house, so that's going to be, um, you can see, you know, this kind of come to fruition uh, in the house. So this is um, a house I'm building right now for my family. Uh, we don't always get to wire our own house, so I'm blissfully happy to do that. Uh, but I just wanted to go through some design cues on how to design the house from a design aspect in this format and then you can go to the real life version it'll be two separate videos but just some thought patterns that you'll see come to uh, life in the next video um, as well i'm going to upload them twice so we've got our uh, our home run here so our network closet is here right next to the media room and all of the wires come out of this corner and you'll see that uh, in real life as well so this particular look at me i'm just doing dragging things that don't need to be dragged. Um, so this home's got cameras throughout the house. I've got uh, I've got uh, cameras aiming at this garage out towards the street in two locations, two different doorbells at two separate entries to the front. Um, as you kind of come in, you can see Wi-Fi in the front left, Wi-Fi in the front right, and I actually added one in the laundry room in real life. It's just not on my drawings. Sometimes when you walk a house, things change and you see stuff and uh, you, may, you pivot. Uh, same thing with this in-wall sub. I wanted this in-wall sub in this hallway. Framing, Romex, all this other stuff did not allow for that. So I actually ended up putting it way over here in this corner. And then I did actually did dual 8-inch uh, sub wiring here. And I actually wired my rears here because this room's a little bigger than it looks in the picture. Um, I also added a camera in this corner. And you'll find out why in that video as well. Uh, as well as this camera here moved into this hallway. So not everything on a drawing is always going to come out in real life um, the same way. So we need to, you know, you need to be cognizant of wood being in the way um, and things of that nature in real life. So, you know, as you kind of come in, I've got powder bathroom uh, wiring for, uh, or I'm sorry, powder bath, uh, pool bath here. I've got pool bath in the back. Uh, where's the other <laughs> powder bath here? Sorry, I added audio here too. Uh, it's not on the drawing as I walked the house. I actually added audio to this powder bathroom as well as the pool bath. Um, so again, as I walked, I just kind of added a couple things. Um, closet, uh, master bathroom, surround sound in the, in the uh, living room, or I'm sorry, in the master. And I actually moved this um, this touch panel uh, is actually a Josh AI dot, and I actually moved it over here. So a lot of design aspects. You can screenshot this, you know, just kind of take a look at it. Theater is a uh, um, 9.1 theater. I've got um, conduit run to the projector, which we actually moved into this, and that's a cool part of the video. It's really cool. When I actually went out to the house, um, I used this. I used this entire chase here. Um, as the projector housing and lowered this ceiling. So the custom builder let me do that, which is really cool. As I go up to the second floor, another wireless access point here that'll feed the upstairs, kind of like one and a half story. Uh, two bedrooms upstairs just with TVs. The game room, you know, you need to pay attention to design cues like this. I see a bar. I imagine I'm sitting here where my hand is. I can't see this TV over here. These low windows create a problem for a TV here. I, I didn't love a TV here because I might put a shuffleboard on this wall. So I just put a little bar TV in here on this wall. Um, so those are just things that you have to think about. Camera looking down the stairs, uh, nothing crazy upstairs, but a lot of audio downstairs, a lot of entertaining. As people flow through the house, they can listen to music. Um, all of these zigzag, all of these zigzag uh, markers here show that you know all of the wires that are um, on a wall here are all going to be zigzagged down the down the wall to the floor. Uh, design cue that we do. I also wired for in-wall subs in the rear here, as well as four, I went with four uh, regular subwoofers. I also did uh, 16.6 in these rooms for colored lighting. Um, and then my, I see why my guys forgot it on this side, but I did tell them when I was there, they just forgot it. So they're matched on the other side here. Um, so there's going to be three channels of light in this theater, which we just finished in uh, Arlington, Texas, which is really cool. Um, so a lot of cool design cues, cameras well thought out, audio well thought out. Um, you know, it's my house, so I thought about it a little more probably than most would. But I think about all of my customers' houses with this depth. Um, they might not go with this much wiring, um, but I think about all this uh, depth. If I was to wire this house, just to put a price on it, you're probably looking in the 
eight thousand dollar range or so to pre-wire a house like this um, at this level. Maybe nine with all of the extra wiring for um, like I got toe kick lighting here because we do low voltage lighting. So I've got sixteen two for white toe kick lighting all around the bathroom, all around the kitchen. Um, so <clears throat> no stone unturned here, of course, as you can imagine. But uh, that's a properly designed wire design. And then uh, hopefully you'll watch the next video where I actually walk the house. See ya. Hey guys, I just wanted to thank you for listening to whatever I was just rambling about. And of course, if you are in the Dallas area or surrounding areas and you can get here, uh, visit our showrooms in Frisco or South Lake location. And now we can help you anywhere uh, from anywhere in the country through the world's first mom and pop shop on the internet uh, called fcavsystems.com. We are very excited about this project. Uh, we're happy to bring what Theater Advice does here in Texas to everyone. Thanks for watching.